Would you like to explain the red tubes? I need to explain the red tube. Okay. Uh, it's an old story that uh, started when I was three years old in 1935. And I was about to turn four years old. And uh, I kept asking, I knew that birthdays are when you got presents. Oh, yeah. So I was anxious. I kept saying, when's my birthday? And so finally, somebody took me over to the calendar and said, okay, this is where we are today on the calendar. And your birthday is down here on the 2nd of June. And in those days, the calendar, so I think it was a, it was maybe a religious thing and maybe it wasn't, but anyway, when they printed calendars, they had Sundays were always printed in red letters and the other days of the week were all planted in black letters. Mm -hmm. So in 1935, if you go back and do a little research, you'll find that June 2nd, my birthday, occurred on a Sunday. So it was a red two. And so I kept, I was, uh, I would always, somebody would say, when's your birthday? I'd say, red two June, red two is June, is when it's going to be. And so finally, I, uh, it got there, and they were making a joke out of the fact that I was big on waiting for the red two of June. What I didn't know was that next year, I thought, well, red two of June this year, red two of June next year. And I, so they asked you, when's your birthday in the next year? I said, red two of June. Well, of course, it wasn't red at all. There no, no two calendars have the same you know, June on, in succession. So anyway, so the, the joke went on from there that my birthday from then on including to now, has always been on the red two of June. And that's, I'm sorry, that's all there is to the story. <laughs> that's, that's the right. beginning and end of the great, The great person to propagate the story was my mother. And I think uh, initially she was, I think, proud that her son, as a three-year-old, could be coping with calendars and knowing about that. I think my dad probably thought this kid is even more stupid than I thought. It's not for a thing like that. But anyway, that's the story. And it propagated through the family all the way to uh, my friend and wife here. Um, Would you like to kill the pinata? <laughs>